Hey everyone, this will be the weekly reading for Capricorn. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. It will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have some moon rising or Venus placements in Capricorn, or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings. If you're interested, click the link um, in the description box or click the join button below. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. All right. What is going on with my Capricorn collective? What is going on? We have the Emperor in reverse, Aries energy. We have the Three of Wands in reverse. We have the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. We have the King of Cups in reverse. I'm sick of that King of Cups in reverse coming out. Mm. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Talking about the Emperor in reverse and the Emperor in reverse, by the way. Um, we have Ace of Pentacles in reverse. What is this? Three of, three of Wands in reverse. The Page of Cups. Page, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Talking about the Page of Wands. The High Priestess in reverse. Mm. And we have the World. Ooh. Well. It's over for this. Whoever this emotionally manipulative person is that really don't have shit to offer, but they keep trying to talk to you or whatever they keep trying to do, pursue you, it's over for them. Like, I see them coming towards you with a message. But this person is just like very stuck and stagnant. All right. They like, they're very controlling as well. They got a big ego. They're very controlling. They like to feel like they're in control and they have the upper hand and they have the power and the control. This is somebody that knows that you're a missed opportunity or you will be a missed opportunity or that you are one. They, they don't have anything to really offer you. Yeah. They don't have anything to really offer you. Or this is somebody that is worried that they're about to miss an opportunity with you, but yeah, this is somebody that is very stuck and stagnant. They're very childlike, very emotionally immature, very emotionally manipulative, or they just don't really know how to, they're very closed off emotionally, emotionally unavailable type energy here. But this person is about to um, reach out to you. I really don't feel like you can trust this person's intentions or motive. They have like a motive here or something, or they're keeping secrets. Or this person's just very confused. They're still not listening to their intuition. They still don't know what the hell they want. They're lacking clarity here, but it's like something, a cycle is about to close out for this person. Like you're about to be done with this person. You are maybe already are done with them, but whatever it is, there's, a, there's a completion about to happen here. Libra energy. We have the hermit in reverse on the back of the deck. See spirit is saying that it would be a repeating. Like this is, you've already, how do I say this? This person has already shown you like they're not coming back in a new energy or they're coming back in that same old, same old energy. So spirit is saying, have you learned the lesson? Are you ready to apply the lesson to dealing with this person? Or are you going to go back and do the same thing you did before? and You didn't get the outcome that you liked. All right. I do. See, but I feel like this person is going to end up getting rejected. I'm going to be honest with you based off of the cards. I feel like this person is about to come out of hermit mode. This is somebody that's not been thinking about them. They've been thinking about you. That's not correct. This is somebody that you've not been speaking to, but they've been doing a lot of thinking about you and the situation with you. All right. But I just don't feel like they've healed. I don't feel like they've changed. I really feel like they don't get it yet. All right. But I feel like they're about to come in and like try to, they're going to be very forceful here. Like, I don't want to like, they can't force you to be with them really, but they're going to be like, somebody else had a reading like this. I don't remember who it was, but cancer. Yeah. So you guys can be dealing with a cancer. We do have the, we do have the King of Cups in reverse, but anyways, this person's coming in and they're going to be very like aggressive, like, or very like, this is somebody that's going to be blowing up your phone. This is somebody that's going to be, yeah, like, I don't know how else to put it. Wanting to try to like work on something with you, but because don't get me wrong, this person knows, yeah, we have more forceful energy here. This person knows that you are like, you're very abundant, your wish fulfillment. But this person has fears that they need to overcome that from past experiences or something like that. Um, what is this? What is this world with the, the king of cups in reverse? 
judgment in reverse. Yeah. For some of you, this person is needing to close out some type of cycle. And that is a part of their lessons. And they're still not doing it. They're still resisting the universe. They know what they should do. They're not doing it, though. They're doubting themselves. They're not listening to their intuition. It's like a certain action that this person needs to take. That's actually going to lead to a lot of happiness and fulfillment for them. But they're like letting fear keep them from happiness and fulfillment. Tell me more about what this the world is. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yeah, it's like they're refusing to close out a cycle here. But with the world here, is this cycle going to close out or what? Justice in reverse. Mm, I feel like something is still un un is unopened or, or is opened. I hope I can't talk right now. They may even tell you that they've ended something. They haven't. Yeah, they may even tell you this is manipulation. It says all talk, no action. This person is going to maybe say that. Or for some of you, they're going to be like, I'm working on this. I'm working towards this. I will be able to do this. I, you know, like kind of make you promises for the future. But Spirit is saying that they're not going to put action behind that. They they don't really have anything to give you. Five of Pentacles, financial loss, poverty. La yeah, they're just, maybe this person feels you. Yeah, they kind of feel you like um, leaving them behind. See, I'm sick of this energy. This is like kind of similar to the collective reading that I did earlier. This person knows that like you're, they can feel that you're in this energy of like, you know moving on to a path that has nothing to do with them like you're you're taking those steps to move away from them you're planning a future without them you're you're take yeah and it's like they don't see this is somebody that is trying to decide whether or not they want to leave behind their comfort zone or if they want to be with you but yeah but it's like this shouldn't even be a choice what does this have to do with capricorn queen of wands in reverse eight of pentacles in reverse See, there's somebody around them, possibly somebody in their family that de demands a lot of time and energy from them, okay? Or if they were in a relationship with somebody else, they had somebody else that they were with. See, what is this manipulation? What is the manipulation? The Empress in reverse? What does this have to do with Capricorn, the tower in reverse. This person is under some type of illusion that if it's another person or it's their family or it's their mom, they're under this illusion that they need that person. Like they don't know how they're going to be okay without that person. Like not even like emotionally, like more so financially. Like they could have somebody that's taking care of them or that they're dependent on in some way, codependent. And they are in this illusion that they, they, they need that other person. They can't make it without that other person. And it's like, they have a fear when it comes to you. They feel like you're a big change. They're not sure if they can trust you. I don't know, but the ace of cups, they do know that there's love between the two of you and they know that they need to make a decision. But well, we do have the ace of swords, but it came out like this. So it's like, they're still not sure about what decision they want to make. Yeah. They're still in this energy of like, I don't know. It does look like this person's eventually going to choose the to leave their comfort zone, but I don't know. Give me more clarity about what's going on. Oh, shit. Hold on, guys. All right, I need a drink. <laughs> I need a drink of water. Okay. <sighs> Give me a second, guys. All right, what do I want to use here? Hmm, hmm. Oh, 
Hold on. I am just keep dropping cards. Oh, hold on. All right, tell me more. Paint a, more of a picture here of what's going on or what they can expect. Yeah, spiritual lessons here. There's some type of lesson that somebody is still not getting. Let's see. Soul family. See, soul soulmate attracting your tribe, soul contracts. So spirit, somebody is in some type of um, soul contract where they're supposed to be learning spiritual lessons. What does this have to do with Capricorn, though? They're saying follow the signs. So you guys can be seeing a lot of repeating numbers and synchronicities. What are these signs showing Capricorn? What do they need to know? We have drinking to forget. What about drinking to forget? That somebody is, see, circus in town. Drama. Yeah, I, I feel like this like chaotic energy with this reading. I might have a hard time concentrating. Unpredictable situation out of control and drama. Trying to move on on the rebound, deeply missing you. What does this have to do with Capricorn, though? Because I still don't get it. See, this person's realizing they're over there in some shit. All right, guys. This person is learning a lesson because <sighs> things had to happen like this for them to learn their lesson. All right, y'all. This person has like a very cha chaotic or they have a lot of drama going on in their life and Things are out of control over there. I don't know. And they're trying, they've been trying to move on from you. They've been trying to forget you, but they're really missing you. And spirit is like, they're going through this to, to show spirits trying to show this person that they had a loyal and devoted unconditional love with you. Like you were very, you unconditionally love this person. You were very loyal and devoted to them. Yeah. Falling in love. The feeling is mutual, equal effort. I'm still confused though. Yeah. This, this is somebody that's like through all this chaos and crap that they're going through while they're not talking to you. They're realizing how loyal and devoted you were, or maybe that's them wanting to come in and be loyal and devoted to you. They're realizing that their feelings for you aren't going anywhere, but let's see. Yeah. Receiving an offer, a gift or contribution, wanting to have something to offer. I told you they don't have really much to offer you. So they're holding back from you right now, but they're about to come in unexpectedly. It's like they're holding back from you for right now because they don't feel like they have anything to offer you and they know that you, they need to offer you something like, like they need to offer you, give you a proper offering. But at some point, they're going to come in very unexpectedly, it says, with an offer of love. But see, what is this though? This person has gone through some type of loss, guys. Like if they do choose to come towards you, it may lead to them having some type of financial loss or something like that. Or they're afraid that if they would, if they leave whatever situation they're in, that they're going to, so I don't know how else to put it. They think they're going to lose something or that they're not going to have enough. Like they're in this, like they, they are looking at leaving the situation as like, they're going to lack something. But what they don't realize is that they, they've just been wasting time playing these games with you. They shouldn't like letting, like you were so different from what they were used to. They felt you guys were very different. Like you guys had major differences and that's why they were like thinking that nothing good will come of the situation. They didn't like take this as seriously as they should have or something like that because they put you on such a pedestal. They thought you were out of their league. So they resorted to like manipulation and scheming and trying to be controlling. But with you, they could have prospered. Like, yeah, infinite abundance was just sitting there waiting for this person. And instead of just accepting it, they played the games. I don't know, guys. It's so weird. I want to get more clarity on what, for, my, for you guys that keep seeing these repeating numbers and synchronicities, what is spirit trying to tell you? What is spirit trying to tell you when you see those repeating numbers and synchronicities? We are trying to fix it, correcting, improving something, making the best out of a bad situation. Okay, tell me more. Painting red roses. We have use your head. Give it some thought. Think logically and rationally. Don't let emotions control you. Okay. Ancestral karma. Gifts from your ancestors. Someone you have a past with. What about it? Stuck. I told you. They're very stuck. Stagnation, delays, and setbacks. So what does that have to do with, again... They're not ready. They're just not ready. So what do they need to know when they see those numbers or synchronicities? 
cleanup crew. Yep, there's some people around them. The calm storm. See, this person, who, who is this person that has this chaos going on around them? Yeah, that's cleaning up life, getting rid of distractions, making healthy choices. It's like they got a lot of chaos going on around them, but they're trying to stay out of it or remove that from their life at this time. But again, I don't see the grasp of greed. What's to do with Capricorn? Battle wounds. This person has been, there's been a battle here. Somebody is very, put, what is this? <laughs> Someone's having a really hard time because... Clarify grasp of greed. Explore the waters. They're so better. Keep your options open. Figure out what you really want. Okay. Twin flame. Of course. Of course this is your twin flame. Huh. What is Ground yourself. Take a breather. What, is, what does this have to do? <laughs> Unhealthy choices. Be careful who you let towards you come towards you at this time. Spirit is kind of saying that you need to be a little bit more guarded or you need to be a more like you're going to be receiving communication. But see, now we have go for it on the right path. Unfoldment. The past returns. OK, but this looks like something good. <laughs> this I don't it's like too conflicting. Huh? Somebody from your past is coming out and Spirit says that this will be, it doesn't look like it's going to be anything bad, but somebody's been having a hard time. I wish I could, I'm trying to figure out how to put it into words. Let me see if I can, let's get some other oracles because I still, I'm not getting the clear picture here. It's like your person is like having conflict and drama with some very selfish and people that are possessive over them and also very like greedy when it comes to their money and their finances or something like that. Let me see. Give me a few of these. Tell me more. Wrap this up because I don't understand. We have endings and overflow. They entered your life to test you, teach you, and bring out the very best in you. Now their part in your story is over. So for some of you, it overflow. Their heart is overflowing with love so much it scares them because their love for you has no end. I told you, this person is realizing that their feelings are not going to go anywhere for you. If anything, they're increasing and overwhelming to this person. So what does this have to do with endings? We have the unknown. It's like there, there's somebody that they need to let go of or something. Something needs to end. The unknown scares them. They see the abundance you bring into their life, but they fear being wrong. <sighs> okay, what's that do with endings, though? The witch. Yeah, they see how powerful and magical you are, and sometimes they wonder if you have them under a spell. Passion ignited. Their intense sexual desire toward you is making it hard for them to know the difference between lust and love. Divine intervention. They are experiencing many tower moments in their life where it's helped them gain clarity on this connection. Anxiously waiting. So they're waiting to hear from you or see you. Like getting get communication from you, watching you, yeah, keeping tabs on you. The player, see, they don't want to be a player anymore. The player lifestyle that wants to find everything that they did has stopped looking enticing ever since they met you. So, yeah, they feel you energy cords. Despite the distance between you, they still feel your energy. They feel the energetic cords that is keeping you two connected. We have guarded though. Yeah, I don't know. Let's do one more of these potential they see the potential of the you they see the potential in you and the connection but they are still very guarded yeah behind their own emotional defenses allow them to fall in love and steps and they are i just saw it in those cards huh it's almost like i don't know what this other situation is that they got going on but it's the exact opposite of what they could have with you or what they did have with you or how you made them feel and now that they're just left with that, they're it's like almost like they're comparing the two situations or something like that. I don't know, but it says justice. They're trying to do the right thing by offering you something more solid and giving it careful consideration. The right, see, they there is somebody else here. They chose someone else over you, and though it wasn't what they wanted, they thought it was the right thing to do. They could have chose that. They chose that other person or situation because they for financial reasons. 
because they were being greedy, they were being selfish. Um, they weren't sure about you. They weren't sure if they could trust you. They felt like they were more comfortable over there than they were with you. I don't know, guys. But they can't, like, suppress these feelings and emotions. They're they're trying to, but it's not working. And they have so much drama and chaos going on over there. Yeah. I don't know, y'all. But yeah, I just saw the settling card. They settled. Unsatisfied and feels alone while with someone. Your your wants, needs, and desires are being chronically unmet. They're not fulfilled where they're at. Accepting less than what you deserve, and that doesn't exactly sit right with you. So this person knows that with you, they could be doing like a thousand times better than they are where they're at. But this person, it has issues with like self-esteem and not feeling worthy of you because they put you on this pedestal. So what now? Because clarify the King of Cups in reverse in the world. So what's going to happen here? See, they're definitely watching you. Even if I'm gone, I'm still connected to you in some way. I can't cut you off completely, but I am afraid to return. My only interaction with you is through your social media. I miss you. So when you're seeing those numbers, that's that person thinking about you. That's that person thinking about you and missing you. Yeah telepathic right as i'm saying that why right as i'm saying that random thoughts and intense feelings brought about by your twin notice patterns images or numbers in your day-to-day -day that remind you of your person i just said that we have breaking barriers in reverse there are so many barriers stopping us from being together i'm trying my best to become a better person so i can knock down the walls for you and eventually with you this person has issues with uh, feelings and emotions and didn't i say some of you guys are dealing with a cancer for some of you, it is a cancer, okay? All right, we have inner child healing. I have made and used excuses in order to control or sabotage our connection, but now I realize the only way to heal is to mend, acknowledge, and forgive my past. So, yeah. Yep, ego-driven. Acting in one's own self-interest. I told you, they were selfish. They were thinking about what was best for them or what they thought was best for them. Driven by a need to prove oneself better than others, does not truly love the person, but loves more what they, the person gives. Exactly. So whoever that person was, they were giving something or providing, or they were dependent on that person in some way. And even though they weren't happy, they just thought that if they could maybe rely on that person to provide some type of something for them that they could, I don't know, guys, it's stupid. So what is this cycle? What is coming with the world? What's coming to an end here? We have balancing. Okay. The world, tell me about the world, cosmic love. And we have... Yeah, it's like, yeah, remorseful through actionable change. Wants to undo the wrongs and do right by you. Understanding what you put in, you get out karmic justice. So connect it in the 5D, regardless of disconnect it in the 3D. Intense or strong feelings that they feel are everlasting, powerful, or otherwise indescribable. And we have patience. I just want you to know how much I miss you and how much you mean to me. It's been difficult moving on without you, but I'm waiting on the perfect time to return and I am trusting in the process. This person, I told you, they're going to come back at some point wanting to do right by you. You guys could have some type of um, interaction with this person but in the summertime. What was that like? What was that in the summer? What's the summertime? Okay, what about Union and Seek? Okay, Sagittarius. See, this person could have ghosted you. Yep, this person ghosted you in the summertime. Working in perfect rhythm with each other, feeling seen, hurt, valued, respected, and cherished, fully present with that person, mind, body, and spirit. Huh, What? why is Union and Sync and then Ghosted coming out? What is Union and Sync coming out for then? Runner, they ran from it. Lord. Now, yeah, they're going to want your forgiveness. Yep, third party situation. Main character or the side piece. Another person got in the way of the relationship, feeling betrayed and second guessing self worth. I'm seeking your forgiveness, even if I can't utter the words. I told you I was having a hard time talking. I'm trying to also forgive myself for treating you unfairly, but I'm hoping I can quiet my guilt. They know they did you wrong. Sometime this summer, they did something. But it's a, I recognize our connection was intense and it still burns my soul. It's a connection that can never be broken, but it is one that must be balanced. Yeah, didn't we have that? It came out. So, yeah, balancing. Yeah, they know that if that if a connection is going to be successful, it has to be equally beneficial. It has to be mutually beneficial. It says 
never be so they know that they have to come towards you how do i say that they know that they have to meet your be like at your level or be willing to be open like you or whatever it says that can be never be broken but it is one that must be balanced in order to move forward together yeah this person so they know that they have to change because this person the way that they are the way that they've been they have been in this energy where they have really had no they haven't been able to give to you or capable to give to you in the way that you give but something is maybe happening in the springtime yeah uh, what is that runner see yeah so you, this person could have ran from you yeah they could have ran from you you guys could have maybe like tried to work on something with this person but that they could have ghosted you i'm sorry i had to run but i couldn't tell you how i felt because i wouldn't even know i didn't even know how i feel it was easier for me to walk away instead of having to explain myself lord what is spring coming out for all right we have aquarius what's coming out in spring maybe leaning towards no what is springtime karmic partners all right what about that what's up do with capricorn yeah i wasn't always there when you needed me the most instead of trying to comfort you i would jump jump ship because i couldn't deal with my own emotions let alone yours okay what who is this karmic what is a karmic partners card so, See, this person did, they started, they started being with somebody else. I know how I have to control. I know now I have control of my life. No one is holding me captive and no one is controlling my circumstances. I recognize the power of free will and I now choose to be happy. Something went on in the, in the springtime guys where they did like, they were trying to work on some, or they were dealing with a karmic partner or something like that, where it was very turbulent. Yeah. With plenty of highs and lows, red flags, codependency, arguments, miscommunication, they test us. Yeah, they're going through something with a karmic partner that they're learning lessons with. Yeah, but it wasn't always there when you needed me the most. Yeah. They, they're in a situation where they're settling. I told you I already saw that. Oh, my gosh. All right, guys. I definitely need to take this over to the extended reading because I want to take a deeper look to see what... This is a complicated reading and... I want to take a look to see like more of what the situation, like what is going on. Are they in another situation? Are they not? What you guys can expect to happen going forward, feelings, intentions, guidance, all that will be in the, um, the extended reading. The link will be in the description box, or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings. Um, but yeah, I, what was I going to say? Oh, and don't forget to say, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, or don't forget to like, or follow me on TikTok. And um, Instagram, if you're interested in collective readings. Sorry if I'm repeating myself. I keep losing my train of thought. That's like the energy right now. But um, thank you for watching. And I will see you over in the extended reading or I'll see you in the next one. Bye.